Welcome to the next part of the lecture Finite Elements Method. The finite elements solution of the equation minus second derivative of u plus sigma uh, u equals f in the space of cubic primes. In the previous section we have found the approximate solution un in the space of linear splines S1 delta 0, for which the global error as the difference between uh, the exact solution U and approximate solution UN is on the level capital O of H squared. So the error tends to zero as fast as O of H squared tends to zero when H tends to zero. One can uh, find more accurate approximation UN of equation 1 in the space of cubic splines S3 delta 2 for which uh, which has the global error on the level capital O of h to power 4 so that the global error of the uh, cubic spline approximation tends to zero asymptotically as fast as h to power 4 tends to 0 when h tends to 0. As in the previous lectures, we consider the same boundary value problem, the same standard boundary value problem, minus second derivative u plus sigma u equals f in the interval a, b, with homogeneous boundary conditions u at a equals to 0 and u at b equals to 0 again. This is a standard uh, boundary problem to, cl to clarify the idea of the finite elements method. We remind that the variational form of this uh, problem, a boundary value problem, uh, is in the form of the integral from a to b of the expression first derivative unknown u times test function uh, eta of x also first derivative plus sigma u eta equals integral from a to b of the given function capital f of x times the test function eta for every eta in the uh, energetic space HL, which in the case of this equation is the Sobolev space W012 on the interval AB. Let us find the approximate solution UN in the space of cubic splines in the form of the linear combination of B splines. That is un equals min a minus 1, uh, b minus 1 of x, a0, b0 of x, up to uh, bn plus 1, bn uh, plus 1 of x. We have n plus 3 reads uh, coordinates, b coordinates, starting from minus 1, 0 up to n plus 1. This uh, coordinates in the in the range of um, from minus 1 0 up to n plus 1 are not identically equal to 0 on the interval a b and therefore they contribute to the linear combination the other Ritz coordinates which are also well defined on the real or whole real line are uh, identically equals zero. That means the coordinates b minus two, b minus three up to the end uh, are zero on a b interval and b n plus two, b n plus three up to infinity are equal to zero on the uh, interval a b. So they do not contribute to the linear combination. 
good. So we know that that uh, coordinates B function um, from the previous lectures. We call them uh, uh, Galerkin reads Galerkin coordinates. So the formula for B functions is here. And this is piecewise uh, cubic spline, which is uh, uh, twice differentiable on the whole interval AB, including uh, the uh, points of a uh, partition. So the, the two boundary value conditions implies the following equations, that the approximate solution at the point A as well as the, uh, the exact one, are zero. So this linear combination at the point A is zero. The same, uh, the second condition at the end of the interval, B, the approximate solution at B, as well as the exact one, are, z are zero at, at the end of the interval. So we have this equation. But we now observe that in this uh, combination only three first terms are not zero, the others are zero because b minus 1 at a is 1 from the table we can read and even from this formula b0 at a is 4 and b1 at a is 1 again b2 at a up to n are zero. So this is the, the only three terms with these very coefficients remain. So this equation we can write in the simpler form. The same at uh, the second equation. Last three, uh, last three uh, terms of the sum are not uh, zero. bn minus one, bn and bn plus one at b. And then the values are one, uh, 4 and 1 again uh, corresponded. So the others are 0. So these two equations from the boundary conditions we can write in the form here a minus 1 plus 4 a 0 plus a 1 equals 0 which we have a 1 we can get for here and the same for um, this from the second we have. So then the, we submute, sub, uh, substitute to the combination, um, to the uh, approximate solution as the linear combination that uh, values a, for a1 minus a minus 1 times uh, 4 a0 and for a n plus 1 also the same forms. If we substitute, we have uh, un in the form with the coefficient uh, this coefficient is a minus 1 a0 and here we have also this coefficient here so if we collect like terms uh, the a0 unknown then we observe that that this is the coefficient at a1 is this one and, and the last two also are of the same form so we came from b coordinates to b bar coordinates by the boundary value conditions, homogeneous boundary value conditions. So B bar uh, coordinates satisfy uh, homogeneous boundary value conditions. That means B bar at zero, at A is R zero and at B R so R zero. So uh, we came from the B coordinates to B bar coordinates to get, uh, to get uh, uh, homogeneous boundary conditions for the uh, approximate solution UA in the space of cubic splines. Good. So we have here again the form of B bar, first and second is of this form, modified, the others are not modified, and the two are, uh, last two also modified. Good. In order to find coefficients uh, a0, a1, a n, we solve the variational equation, which in this case is in the form of the integral, 
where the test functions are now RB bar and they are in the four, in the energetic space, of course, they satisfy boundary value conditions. So we have that system of equations, n plus 1 equations, because k is from 0 to n, this k here, and n unknowns ai when i change, changes from 0 here, should be 0 to n. Good. So the, the matrix form, the matrix form of the of, of the boundary value problem. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, the matrix form is a vector a b. So the, we have vector a, vector b, and that components b and the entries of the matrix we have here, which is uh, in fact a uh, seven diagonal matrix, Gram's matrix. So that it is. Uh, non-singular because uh, this is Gram's matrix of, of, of B-bar uh, coordinates which are linearly independent. So, the, so the approximate solution is in the form A0 star B-bar 0, uh, A1 star up to N. So where this uh, A0 star A1 star R is the solution of the system of uh, equations. Good. The idea is simple. We shall implement the idea uh, uh, considering uh, tutorials uh, of, uh, under that above topic. Now let us uh, 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 see the error estimation. As it was established in the previous lectures, the global error is the difference between uh, approximate solution and uh, exact one of the Garenkin method satisfies the inequality that the global error in the energetic norm is less or equal for every eta, for every test function eta, of the norm of the difference eta minus the exact solution in the L norm. Good. That is important uh, result and uh, that is also for all test functions this inequality has. This very effect we have established in the previous lectures. But if it is so, then uh, we can take for eta the uh, approximate solution, the cubic spline. So we can approximate the global error of the method, finite element method, by the error of interpolation, cubic spline interpolation to the uh, exact solution u. But this error of, of interpolation we know how to estimate. We can uh, call, we can apply the uh, very nice uh, result uh, published by Hall in 1968 under the title on error bands for spline interpolation in the Journal of Approximation Theory, Volume 1. So we shall use this theorem to uh, get um, uh, uh, estimate of that error of interpolation. Again, to say this is error of interpolation, this is the global error of the finite element method. So this error, we, we are able to have uh, uh, estimation of this error using the following uh, theorem. The theorem, if phase of x is an interpolating cubic uh, spline to the given function a, f of x, four times differentiable on the interval, and then the error of interpolation satisfies the following inequality. So the difference of the function f minus uh, cubic spline s, difference of uh, functions of first, first derivative, second derivative, and third derivative, for r equals zero, we have the global error of the difference, uh, for i equals 1, we have the uh, estimation of the uh, first derivatives of, of, for that uh, interpolation and uh, second derivatives, even third derivatives. But first derivative will be h to power 3 h cubed because r is 1. So that will we lose 1 in the power when we approximate derivatives. But for the function alone, the error of interpolation is on the level h to power 4. The constants are uh, clear here. The sigma in this case is not the sigma, the coefficient, but it is the 
uh, the partition, if a partition is not uh, un uniform, if it is uniform, the sigma is 1, so that this, this is 4 and this is 2, so that is clear. Essential norm is maximum norm, is here the, the find, I think, is known uh, notion, uh, what means maximum essential norm. Let us, um, let S be the cubic interpolating polynomial to the exact solution. Then from the above theorem, when eta equals this cubic polynomial, and the reads galerkin error estimation as we have uh, said above, we find that uh, error of interpolation is less or equal than c cube, h cube, and the essential norm of the form derivative of the exact solution. That is important to note that, that this norm is energetic norm, so that in the error of interpolation, the function u and its derivative is involved. First derivative is why we have q as we have mentioned about. So combining this inequality and the inequality of the glo global error estimate estimation, we come that global error in the energetic norm is less or equal than capital C times h cube and the essential norm of four derivatives. So again to say that this estimation uh, is estimation of the global error and its first derivative. That is important observation. But as we know, we can go from the L norm to the L2 norm. That means to the norm of functions uh, integrable with square. So applying Nietzsche analysis, as it was uh, done for the error um, in the case of linear splines, and by the above error estimation in L norm, we obtain a following O of H square global error estimation. The global error is less or equal than a gene uh, generic uh, constant C times H to power 4 times this um, norm. So we, we, we came for the, from the H cube to the H4. For the price we pay that we here we have energetic norm, which involves first derivative estimation. But we came to the L2 norm of, of the space L2 of functions integrated with squares, and for that we, 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 we earn that power to h to power 4. So that is di different quantity of the, of the norm. Uh, good. So, in conclusion, with the global error of cubic finite elements method tends to zero as fast as O of h squared tends to zero when h tends to zero. So that we shall have tutorials on that above topic uh, in the next part of the lecture. Thank you.